So I saw this brilliant idea the other day. Uh, I think it was Posca Inspiration on my Pinterest board. And I saw that they were drawing on these paint samples. So I ran out the door straight to our Lowe's and I went and grabbed a couple of paint samples. You see, they have all these different walls and the names are fun. And I was kind of, I wanted these pastel colors, but then I started looking at the names and looking at other colors and thinking, what kind of characters could I draw? What kind of fun things could I draw on these? So in the end, I think I chose like 15 of them <laughs> and I was gonna bring these home and grab my Posca pens and draw on top of them. And I grabbed these two red ones to see if I could draw like some Corilla DeVille because Corilla trailer just dropped. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. So I wanted to draw Corilla DeVille on a red paint sample. And then I started looking at these and thinking, what can I draw? Or just like looking at the descriptions of the paint names, which are completely ridiculous. And what's a girl got to do to get a job to start naming paint colors? and don't avoid my hands they are dry and cracked and terrible because it snowed like 20 inches not really but in indiana we got about what 15 inches it's insane so it's really dry outside no amount of the ocean of lotion could help my hands at this point so before i wanted to start off this video was saying that you know i kind of wanted to test it out first to see if my posca pens would even work on these paint palette like samples and then I, later on in the video, after I'm talking about my little process here with my Posca pens, you can see that I'm just like adding it on. It's really slick and it does take time to dry. You kind of are working with some puddles, so it's, it's good to jump around and move around. You see I'm just kind of jumping around, adding here and there, waiting for the actual like puddles to dry where they are and then you can go back over them be careful that the tip on your posca pins are not that dry because you can scratch the paint where you already applied paint so just be careful with your paint pens just just um it's a bit of trial and error that's why i wanted to make this beautiful little bookmark made of a bunch of florals because i love making florals with my posca pens plus i always lose my bookmarks i don't know why i had one good bookmark now it's gone forever so <laughs> these are great bookmark ideas so if you ever want to brighten somebody's day and give them a bookmark because you can never not have enough bookmarks in your life this is perfect it's a great way to make bookmarks and i even thought about after making all these cute little paint palette designs paint palettes i talk like they're a bunch of wooden palettes after making these little sample cards i'm gonna go ahead and take them and maybe spray them with some some like good acrylic polyacrylic or something i don't know uh just to kind of seal it so it doesn't come off anytime soon and it keeps its vibrance and it doesn't scratch off because they are easy to scratch off so keep that in mind when you're making your own paint samples and a lot of you are probably wondering like a big question always gets asked to me is how do i keep my inspiration drawing and how do i keep the creative juices flowing um, and it's really, really hard. Since 2020 to 2021, it has been difficult. It's been really, really difficult. I quit my full-time job and, um, back in September, but sometimes it was like my full-time job was keeping me from my art. And then I realized that it was really keeping me away from my art. Now I'm not saying go out and quit your job. But you know, I've been hearing a lot that if your job does not make you happy and you don't and you're just, you know, you have to earn money to earn money. And I don't know what everybody's life circumstance is, but if you do not have to stay at that job, then don't stay at it. If it's stealing your joy and your, your life fun and juices, do not stay at it. Find something that's more enjoyable that is better for you. I mean, look around. I, I mean, that's what I would absolutely do like if i was for example if i was working and no offense to anybody who does this but you know if i just was stocking uh i don't know <laughs> christmas trees in the middle of july and i was stocking them and getting them ready to ship out to all the stores for the holidays and i didn't have any connection to christmas and that job did not give me any joy then guess what 
I probably would start looking for another job unless I absolutely needed it, okay? Everyone's life circumstances are different, but I'm saying if it doesn't bring you joy and you don't want to stock Christmas trees on the shelves for all the big holiday stores to receive, then don't do it. <laughs> Get a job that you enjoy. Anyways, it's just been, it's been difficult. 2021 and 2020 really has sucked the creative juices out of me. My inspiration has been taken from me and what I associate with anxiety and depression if i have those in my life yes i think i consider it as art block because when i am sad and i don't feel the inspiration and i feel the overpowering stresses of anxiety social anxiety or depression if i can't find creativity in those moments i consider it as art block a lot of people consider it as not being art block like being depressed or being sad or having anxiety you could still create yeah you can but sometimes you know you just there are times that i just sit and stare at a blank page or a blank canvas or something and nothing's coming to me and what helps me might help you it, you know i hear it a lot seriously I don't care how old you are, go and sit down and watch a movie that inspires you. If it's a cartoon, then watch that cartoon. You've got to. <laughs> it br if it brings you joy. One of my comfort movies that always brings me joy is Monsters University. And I honestly think the reason why Monsters University brings me joy and brings me out of my funk is because I see myself in Mike Wazowski. And a lot of you might be like, what? Mike Wazowski? Why in the world does she see herself in Mike Wazowski? <laughs> the reason why is because, you know, I was rejected big time in my college years at one of my first, the first college that I went to. Uh, the chair of the department is just a toxic, horrible, dominating terrorist of a woman. And she was the chair of the department that I was in. And she said that i could no longer be in the theater department she said that i should be an art major and i was thinking the whole time but i'm a production theater major and you know what the production people do they make the scenes they make they paint the sets they create the stages for the plays they create that beautiful setting that you walk in and you see on stage if you were to go see a broadway play that's what i was wanting to do and that is just as much as an art major as a theater major and she didn't want me to be in her department anymore and honestly i knew at that point i had been blacklisted by her and i wasn't the first person who was blacklisted by her and in that way i saw my connection to mike wazowski and monsters university i saw that the chair of the department told him that he couldn't do what he wanted to do and he was taken out of that he was basically kicked out of it basically and but he found a way to be a part of that so he found a way and he eventually became so famous and he eventually be, didn't have to be a scare person whatever it's called a scare person he didn't have to cre create that because he created in the end it was just like a full circle moment he found that laughter was better and then he got to be like a comedian that is why I like that movie so much and that's why I always choose when I am down, especially 2021 and 2020. I mean, thank God we have Disney Plus because now I can watch Monsters University whenever I have to because I used to have to like take my DVD player out, connect it to my TV, and then I'd have to plug it in and find the DVD because I have the DVD and I'd have to plug in Monsters University and now I'm just happy I can go to Disney Plus, click on it, and pull it up. But that is my comfort movie. It gives you inspiration. If it's like soul really spoke to me too. I mean, the colors in soul are just beautiful or any of the Studio Ghibli films, Spirited Away and Howl's Moving Castle are my two biggest favoritist Ghibli films. And it's because of the colors and the imagery and the beautifulness and the storytelling. It's so gorgeous. And it's always those movies that I turn to and I go, I'm gonna watch this. I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna watch this and see if I get any inspiration. I get a lot of inspiration from Pinterest as well too. I mean, I go on there, I watch my animation of choice, I'll watch that, get inspiration, 
go on Pinterest and look through the pins and see if I can find inspiration from other artists and see what they created and then maybe I can create something like that. Or sometimes I love to pick up like concept sketches from movies of original character designs. Glenn Keane's work's beautiful and I love going through his stuff or his daughter Claire Keane. She made like all the beautiful like Rapunzel drawings from the Tangled series. All Rapunzel's drawings are by Claire Keane. So I love going through that and trying to see if I can recreate something or just to draw one of their renditions of the characters. It's just, it's just a way to kind of escape. And another thing is create what you want to create for yourself. You don't have to create something for other people. Draw what makes you happy. If you want to draw your pet hamster, then draw that pet hamster. <laughs> if you want to draw baby Grogu, draw baby Grogu. If you want to draw some flowers, then draw those flowers. Because it's all yours. You just need to draw something and to make art that inspires you. One thing I will never advise is don't give up. <laughs> never ever give up. If somebody tells you you can't be in this department, <laughs> no, don't listen to them. If your heart's in it, and if you want to create art, then create art. Back in high school, I had a friend, and to be completely honest, he could not draw anything. I mean, he was terrible really really bad cartoon artist i mean really he was a terrible drawer like his cartoons were really bad to be honest but he practiced every day and he filled up his sketchbooks he practiced and practiced and practiced and practiced he got really good and i'm not exaggerating i'm i mean he got really awesome and i mean you guys know that i've taught classes in my past and I have started with some students who have grown. I mean, incredibly. And it wasn't because of me. I mean, I gave them some tips and tricks like I give you guys. But at the same time, it wasn't that it was me that was teaching them. And it wasn't my teaching that made them improve. I just told them how they could do shortcuts or how they could practice a little bit better. But in the end, by them creating and not giving up, they got so good. They got so good. And I could see the dramatic improvement. But that's it. Just don't give up. These times are hard. And inspiration kind of like goes off and on like a light switch for a couple days. But if you're able to find inspiration again. And you will. You'll find inspiration. You can create art. Don't give up though. Just write it off as what it is it's just a bad day it's a bad art block day it's a bad art block time but you will find inspiration again goodness go out and get some paint sample little cards like i did and make some bookmarks for your friends or family <laughs> any of the readers in your life make them some bookmarks this is just a different way of doing it i mean i even saw some awesome like zentangle work with just a black sharpie marker on these paint palette things and i mean wouldn't that be so beautiful go out and make some of these for your friends and family just add a little bit of brightness to their lives and don't give up it's just bad art days and you can get through it just take some time watch your favorite disney movies or animations whatever makes you happy just watch those i mean i just started watching sailor moon and i'm getting all this inspiration to draw the sailor scouts and i'm just like this is fun i mean it's just different you find inspiration from all corners of the world but yes i hope this helped and i hope that you'll go out and you'll create more art and thank you for watching.